hello everybody welcome back to my channel um first of all i just want to say thank you for loving my previous video i'm glad that it helped someone out there when it comes to choosing bonichi techo products and now for this video i want to share with you some of my recommended pens for the hobonichi techo yeah so everything that is in here um i've already used I've already used for my spreads and we will try them one by one. We will try each pen one by one. And this journal is actually finished already. If you're interested to see a flip through of my completed day free journal, please let me know in the comments. I still have some pages that are left and I want to use that for the pen test. For example, like the um, like the monthly pages, so I don't want to put this into a so let's use. So this is my Jimmy pen case. It's very um, spacious and I like it very much. And I have different kinds of brands here, and you can judge if you like this kind of pen for your Hobonichi Ted shop. So first, let us try the Tombow. Okay, so this is the tumble. I like this when making backgrounds. So this is what it looks like at the back. Next one, we have the clean color dot. This one I always use. So you be the judge <laughs> if you want to use this pen. I like it. Even though it shows, it has the this thing at the back. I forgot the correct term. I still use this frequently. And it's double-sided. So, yeah. This. So this is clean color dot. Also... This will also be available at nimbolicshop.com And next, we have another clean color, but this is the real brush. I like this for, you know, making backgrounds. Here. I, I like Kuretake pens. <laughs> Next one, let's compare it with a mild liner brush. So, and it's double sided too. So, I like my liner brushes. Next one. We are gonna use the Play Color series. So this is Play Color 2. Also Tombow. So yeah, it's also double sided. Play Color. And the other side. Yeah, I think this one is quite thin. Next one will be the Stabilo Boss. And this is like the pastel one. I really like Stabilo. <laughs> I remember during back my university days, I would use the yellow one for, you know, highlighting when when studying. And I like that they came out with a pastel set. It's very strong. 
in the Philippines, this one is a popular brand. So you can check it like that. Do you use also Stabilo? Is it popular in your country? Next one. Um, oh, I still have another Zig, Zig Queen color dot. Okay, let's just try. Next one, we have another Stabilo pen. Okay. I think I bought this when I was in the Philippines. So let's try filling in. Robert, to be honest, I don't think I have a preference. I just like all of these pens. Yeah. Next pen. We still have a lot. Okay, let's try another color of the Stabilo. So if you want to decorate your monthly layout, you can use this. Not bad. Next one, we are gonna try the... Oh, we still have um, my liner here. So let's just try. So this one is not the brush version. This is the highlighter. Yeah, this is the highlighter version. So there's my liner brush. And we have a original one. So this is really popular, I think, among bullet journaling enthusiasts. So let's highlight. Satisfying. <laughs> and it's also double-sided. So... I like my liner. Next one, let's try the, all of the pens here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if this still has ink. So this is mini ball. I don't know how to pronounce it, no? So. I like this one. It has a very strong ink. And I like the how pigmented it is. Then of course my favorite Sarasa. So this is 0 0.7, one of my favorite um, pens. So Sarasa clip. So let's try here again. Because you cannot see the back. Okay. And then let's try another Sarasa pen. So this is another 0 0.7. And this one is 0 0.5. I like color brown so I have many of these of this color so let's compare again not bad and then after that do we still have more sarasa here sarasa 
no more okay the last sarasa to try is the 1.0 so this is quite thick so i think for headers this is really nice and it feels so soft when you write using this pen yeah but you can see here next one okay we are done with the sarasa pens and let's try pilot juice i only have two pilot juice here so 1.0 and 0.5 Pilot juice 1.0. Okay. I don't mind it. How about you guys? Do you like do you mind if you see um this kind of thing at the back? Point five. So this is like the metallic one. Pilot juice 0.5 Next, let's try the uni ball zero point thirty eight. Next one, let's try the Muji. So this is from Muji. Smooth gel ink ballpoint pen knock type. 0.5 mm. 5 mm Muji pen. And let's compare. So this is a 0 0.38 and this is 0 0.5. Next. Let's try the dual metallic, hybrid dual metallic. So, I like some glitter on my journal. Hybrid. Oh, this is kind of strong. Dual metallic. And... 1.0 mm. So it says here that it's like black and metallic red combination. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I can see it from here. It's kind of strong. So when you use this, you need to put a sticker at the back. Yeah, so this is the other one, which is the gold and same 1.0 mm so this is the gold so i like making stars with this one it's really shiny in like real life and last one we have the uni jet stream 0.5 so this pen has been with me since 2016 and i really like it and we don't have space anymore to write so let's just write here um we use the kure take clean color real brush here so let's just write uni jet stream uni jet stream 0.5 I feel like when you're taking notes and you like writing, Jetstream is really one of the best pens ever. And actually also Hobonichi uh, uses Jetstream. So this one was a 2019. I think this is also, I'm not sure. But I know this is also Jetstream. <laughs> yeah, so this was the ball pen, the freebie. 
from 2019 so let's try let's write something here and the blue Pen test. So let's inspect. So Uni Jet Stream and this pen here. And yes, I think that is all. <laughs> I used all the pens that I've been using for my spreads. I think next time I wanna try. Um, I want to try the glass pen, but I'm not sure if um, it will bleed here if I use a certain ink. Anyway, yeah, I want to use coloring pencils as well. I want to try other kinds of pens. <laughs> yeah, so which one is your favorite? Oh, as you can see, oh, I want to show you. The last one that I used earlier, it you have to dry first because it will smudge. Yeah, the hybrid duo metallic. You have to let it dry, or else it will be like this. Yeah, so this is another um way to use or utilize your monthly spreads. If you wanna use your, you wanna try some pens first, you just use this one. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful please give it a like and please don't forget to share it as well thank you so much guys and have a nice day bye bye